Hi, Lee Ellis here with our monthly coaching for Leading with Honor. Last month we covered statement number one. This month we're on number two of the Honor Code. And this one is about showing dignity and respect for others. And leaders go first. You know, when I was in a POW camp, our enemy always tried to destroy our dignity. Everything they could to make us feel like nobody and nothing and we weren't cared for, they tried to do that. So it was a daily battle. So I understand what it's like to have someone trying to take away your dignity. But I also know how powerful it is for a leader to show respect and to honor others and to respect their dignity. You know, I sent a guy to prison when I was a commander of a flying unit in the Air Force. I sent a guy to prison uh, for something he did and it was justified. But I remained uh, faithful to him as a person. I showed him respect and dignity. I visited him in prison before he actually went off to Leavenworth and uh, stayed connected to him throughout that time because I felt like that was important. I was his commander and in many ways I believed in him, but he had made a mistake and he had to suffer the consequences. Likewise, I had to fire a flight commander that worked for me that was a good friend and he was not a bad person. It's just he was not fulfilling the role professionally as it needed to be done and that was going to cause problems for everyone so I had to remove him but we still stayed friends and I really respected him and he actually did a really good job in his next role. Now I do run into problems though because I'm very impatient so even though I believe in this simple principle of showing dignity and respect for others sometimes when I run short on patience and someone who is providing a service to me is really not very conscientious and not doing a good job uh, that stirs up my angst a little bit and that's when I get into a struggle. I've had to fight off gossip but more importantly probably judging others is another big area. Judging people is not a good thing and I have to work at coaching that myself out of that because it's kind of a natural thing to be discerning for me and to make judgments but judging people is not a good thing. So I have learned to be more intentional I have to coach myself to be intentional in certain situations about showing dignity and respect for others. In my coaching, I run into situations where two people at work, it could be two doctors or it could be a doctor and a nurse or a COO and a chief marketing officer, that they get on the outs with each other and they start to show disrespect for each other. That's a dangerous situation, whether it's at work or at home. So being intentional about protecting the dignity of others and looking out for them, showing value and honor toward them is so powerful and important. Now, all of these things, when you show dignity and respect for others, you build a relationship, you build trust, and all of those are so important for leadership. You're building influence. So if, if you're one of those highly results-oriented people, it may not feels like, like a good results oriented thing, but in fact it is because you're building the person up, you're building that trust and that relationship, and it's going to take some time to do that, to show respect and to make this person feel valued, but the payoff is going to be there in the long run. So again, we need to be intentional. It sounds easy, but it's not. In a lot of situations, it's not easy to show respect for others but the payoff is huge when we do. So let's work at it, let's be intentional, show dignity and respect, and remember, leaders go first.